This is a construction update for the week of January 13th, provided by the City of Somerville and read to you by Somerville Media Center. Improvement Projects, Green Line Extension. Throughout the week of January 10th, between the Washington Street Bridge and the Sycamore Street Bridge, GLX Crews will begin relocating the first of two commuter rail tracks to their permanent location along the east side of the MBTA right-of-way. Work will continue during the day and overnight. Activities will include heavy equipment moving, hauling and dumping of crushed stone, and the cutting and welding of track. Overnight noise in these areas may be disruptive at times, primarily due to the use of gasoline-powered hand tools needed to cut tracks. Between Sycamore Street and Harvard Street in Medford, work continues to install drainage and construct noise walls, retaining walls, and the Broadway Bridge Foundation. On the Union Square branch, work continues to construct the foundation for the future station and retaining wall behind Target. For a detailed summary of upcoming work, take a look at the latest construction update from MassDOT. If you need assistance for a GLX construction-related matter, please call the 24-7 GLX hotline at 1-855-GLX-INFO or email info at glxinfo.com. Somerville Ave Utility and Streetscape Improvements Restoration work continues in Union Square. Pavement markings are expected to be applied overnight Friday, January 10th. A new traffic signal will be installed in the island across from Reliable Market within the next few weeks. And once it is activated and sequenced, traffic will be permitted to proceed northbound from Webster Ave to Bow Street. MBTA Bus Service at the Somerville Ave and Prospect Street stop is expected to be restored in the near future, with Route 86 outbound and Route 87 inbound resuming service at this location. Service at the 34 Prospect Street bus stop will continue serving Route 35 outbound, Route 91 outbound, and Route CT2 outbound. The MBTA will post service advisories on site and on their website. On or around Monday, January 13th, contractors plan to establish a work zone at the Somerville Ave Rossmore Street intersection for approximately one month to install the next section of the box culvert drainage system. While that intersection is closed, motorists should enter and exit Rossmore Street via Washington Street. Somerville High School Building Project. Concrete placement for the floors in the eastern wing will continue during the week of January 13th. Weather permitting on Wednesday and Friday, January 15th and 17th, crews will arrive as early as 3 a.m. to prepare for work starting at 4 a.m. Trucks will enter and exit the site using Highland Ave between Vinyl Ave and the Central Library. This work is highly dependent on weather, but similar operations are expected to occur intermittently into February. Neighbors will be notified in advance through the city's alert system. Citywide Manhole Rehabilitation National Water Main, the city's contractor, is rehabilitating manholes throughout Somerville through the spring of 2020. Lane closures, lane shifts, and parking restrictions may be implemented as needed. During the week of January 13th, crews plan to be on the following streets. Adrian Street, Boston Street, Crescent Street, Flint Street, Florence Street, Fountain Ave, Franklin Ave, Glen Street, Inner Belt Road, Morrison Ave, Mount Vernon Street, Myrtle Street, Oliver Street, Park Street, Pickney Street, 3rd Ave. Additional Utility Work Utility companies are responsible for notifying residents prior to conducting any work, but we expect parking restrictions and lane shifts due to the following utility work. Detail officers may close a road if deemed necessary for safety. National Grid will be working at Middlesex Ave and at the intersection of Pearl Street and Myrtle Street. This has been a construction update provided by the City of Somerville and read to you by Somerville Media Center.